Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending October the 15th, 2021. Well, we uh, got some great start to the uh, Q3 earnings seasons of uh, financials reported and uh, they just crushed earnings all, all around. Uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, continue, that was yesterday, Goldman Sachs continued uh, the trend this morning. Uh, Pre-market with uh, was up, you know, over two percent to, to about two point three percent with uh, just stellar earnings report. So the consumers are doing very well through Q3. You know, you had a, a rising interest rate environment because uh, uh, ten year the yields were popping up. The ten year was in the one sixties. The this week the yields are back down in the one fifties. That's causing. Uh, uh, two things to happen here. So you've got in, in, a, in a minute of a rising interest rate environment, you're seeing this growth and uh, this shift in from growth into financials. And you're kind of seeing this this uh, back and forth movement here going, but we're also seeing range bound activities in the, say the Russell 2000. Now it's trying to break out this week with this new rally. We just have to see how that uh, how that goes ahead and, and transcends. The inflation numbers. So right now, what 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 Wall Street is looking at apparently is the fact that we've got uh, consumers willing to spend, and consumers are cash heavy right now, and they're paying and they're paying their credit card bills uh, primarily. So things are looking good on that retail side. Perhaps uh, we're we're seeing a little bit of the holiday uh, spend that would normally be in Q4 already occurring uh, in in Q3. But we're just moving into the beginning of Q4, so it's hard to, uh, not enough evidence to, uh, in yet to, to really fully state that unequivocally. What we are seeing, though, is, uh, is the 10 year holding in a higher level by about 20 basis points than it has been for months and months. So that's good news. Here's, here's the thing with employment we got a better number on employment this week than we did. Uh, for really throughout the pandemic, so we were under 300,000. That's good news moving into a growing economy. The problem is is that you had inflation on imports come back exceeding 9% on imports. Uh, other PPI indexes are around 8.6%. And, uh, and then the cost of living adjustment, the COLA for Social Security 2022 is at 5.9%. Those are all very, very big numbers. So we have inflation there mixed with a, an economy that's trying to get post-pandemic but hasn't quite made it yet, and we still have lingering unemployment uh, is, is pretty high. We're getting better, yes, but we're not out of the woods yet. Raises the specter of stagflation where you have rising interest rates, and yet the economy is not growing at the same rate that you would like to see. So stagflation, reminiscent from the uh, 70s, okay, uh, re potentially rearing its ugly head. So how do we address stagflation? Well, um, the various indexes are, are, are trying to make a new run at, at, at the highs. So we pick and choose and create barbell strategies for our clients that uh, risk tolerances can accept those types of uh, uh, of, of positioning or allocations there. So if you'd like to have us look into your situation to see if one of these alternatives maybe work for or maybe right for you and work for you within your particular uh, tolerance levels, go to assetguidancegroup.com, reach out to us, send us an email, info at assetguidancegroup.com, phone 404-348-4120. We'll be glad to set with you and in and, and, and a complimentary session and see whether or not some of these strategies may be right for, for your portfolio. We measure this against mitigation of a, just a whole host of other risks that are in the background. But that may be the way that we get into mid-2022 uh, and get at this point, uh, you know, summer 2022 and then, and then at this point next year, may be the best way to get uh, past some of these range-bound moves by these uh, indexes, if indeed Q4 2021 doesn't see us going ahead and breaking out. Still have another couple of points to the upside. We're very bullish over here. So uh, don't hesitate to reach out, like I said, uh, and have a great weekend. Well, let's look for more bullish activity next week. Prosperity to all, and stay happy, and I'll see you next time.